Howdy, howdy, everyone. Chris here, and welcome to Garage Noise. Last week, we painted this Ford F-150 bedside, and although it came out beautifully, it has a few minor imperfections that we need to wet sand and buff out, and I'm going to share with you how to do that today. We're going to try out some new sandpaper. I've got some Duracold 1500, 2000, and 3000 grit sandpaper that goes on our orbital sander. So let's take a look at this bedside and see what we have. This is a good example how you can create a flawless finish even if your paint job doesn't come out perfect. If we're looking at this Ford bedside here, it's not too terrible. It actually looks pretty good, but if you look closely, you can see a couple little particles of dust. It has a little bit more texture in the repair area than we like to see or than I like to see. I like it to be nice and smooth and flat. So we're going to take care of that today. I'm going to show you how you can correct your paint job at home. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sand this little section and I'm going to use some 2000 grit wet sanding paper. Now this is on an orbital sander and this is a hook and loop style sandpaper that velcros to the sander. If you're doing this at home you can do this all by hand. You don't need an orbital sander. The only thing you will need is a buffer. So you can get some 2000 grit sandpaper and wet sand this by hand and how you do that is you get a, a soft block or you can use your the flat part of your hand, fold the paper over and sand it in one direction as you wet it down. So you wet it down, sand it in one direction. You want to make sure it's, the surface is clean. You don't have anything under your sandpaper that's scratching into the surface other than the paper itself. For this purpose, we've wet down a section here and we're going to do a little square section first and show you the process. If you're sanding this by hand, you're going to feel it get a little bit smoother as you're sanding. It's going to sand a little bit easier. So that's a good sign to clean it off. Take a look at the clear coat. See how it looks. Does it look smooth? Are the imperfections gone? Now I'm just using a little rubber squeegee here to clean it off. Then we'll dry it off and take a good look at the finish. So taking a closer look, we can see that the clear coat is starting to flatten out. We're removing that texture and any imperfections in that clear. Now what we're actually doing is sanding some of that clear off the panel, and then we'll polish it to a nice high gloss. So if you look down below the areas that I haven't sanded, you can see the texture that's still there from where I sanded to where, where I left off sanding. So we'll continue sanding over this with the 2000 and then we'll switch over to a finer grade sandpaper like a 3000 to remove some of those 2000 grit scratches and make it easier to buff. So I'm going to run over this section once more with some 2000 grit, a little bit bigger section here. We'll get it nice and smooth and then we'll clean it off and go for some 3000. So this is the 3000. We'll put it on the orbital sander, wet down the pad just a little bit, and then get to sanding and get this nice and smooth. So this, this is going to refine those 2000 grit scratches. Just makes it easier to buff. It almost has a little bit of a sheen to it after you're done with the 3000. Now you could go with 5000, take it a step further, and make it e even easier to buff. But after the 3000, it looks really smooth. Now those fine scratches are going to be a lot easier to buff. So we're going to use Wizard Compound today, and this is just a finished compound. I am using a medium grade pad. So this is not a coarse pad or it's not a real soft pad. It's medium, and that's going to be good for cutting these scratches with the fine compound. Start your buffing at a low speed. In fact, spread the compound around before you start buffing and then start out a low speed and work that compound in and then you can gradually increase your speed. Now I go back and forth over the panel and then I go up and down. Then after we're done, we're going to wipe it clean with a clean microfiber towel to take a good look at this panel. Now we can see that the panel is starting to shine up. It's starting to get that high gloss finish. There is a few little scratches. We can still see a little bit of a haze. So we have some more polishing to do. So we're going to continue polishing this a few more times and get this to where it looks really nice and clear. 
Now I'm going to do the same process over the rest of this bedside. We're going to go 2,000, then 3,000, and then I'm going to show you uh, 5,000 and what that looks like after you're done with 5,000. It actually almost gives it a little bit of a shine, and we'll polish it up and show you the finished product. Okay, so now I'm going to use the 3M 5000 grit. This is a Trizac, I believe, uh, sandpaper, and we're going to sand this half bedside, get it all sand it out and I'll show you what it looks like after you're done. So if you don't have an orbital sander with a hook it pad or a big air compressor, you can do this by hand. You just take some 2000 grit wet dry paper, 3M makes this one, fold a piece of paper over a soft foam block. Add a little water to the pad. You want to make sure it's clean. The surface is clean. It's important to make sure the surface is clean so you don't trap any trash in between your paper and your clear coat. That could create some deep scratches, make it difficult or impossible to buff out. So just be aware of that. Sometimes if you have a big particle of dust or dirt in your clear coat, you could break it loose and it could get trapped under that paper. So clean it often. If it sounds funny, stop and clean it and then start sanding again. And you can use your DA paper. So I'm using my DA paper. This is 3000 grit, wrapping it around the block and I'm just going to sand it by hand. Now we're going to go over it with 5000 on the orbital sander and then we'll go ahead and get our rotary buffer, polish it out, and I'll show you the finished product. And there it is. The bedside is cut and buffed and looks like glass. It came out beautifully. The repair looks great. So remember, if you have an imperfection in your clear coat or some orange peel, you can correct it. And if you want to learn more about paint and body repair, check out my channel or just click on one of these videos now. We'll see you next time on Garage Noise.